Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a center back that looks pretty sick, to be honest with you guys. We're taking a look at a... Listen, he's Croatian, so I don't know how to say his name. If I say his name incorrectly, I do apologize in advance. Vardiol, I feel like the G would be silenced, right? Be a silent G? We're going to call him Vardiol for the review. Uh, guys, we're taking a look at a card who, like I said, looks like a monster. Three-star skills, four-star weak foot, right? Six-foot, one height, high, high, uh, high, high work rates, not body type. <laughs> high and average body type. Guys, this card, <laughs> I mean, listen, you can give him an anchor, and he's going to have 96 acceleration, 98 for sprint speed. Sure, you're going to be boosting the physical stuff, of course, right? But uh, I think you guys know that pace in this game is like crazy important. So it wouldn't be a terrible idea to give him a shadow either, right? Depending on what you want. But generally speaking, this guy definitely looks really good. Uh, we'll try him out on an anchor. I do feel like for through balls and law passes, you just want to have as much pace as possible. Because guys, look at his physical stats already. It's already 91 aggression, 94 for strength, 92 for jumping, while being six foot one at a high and average body type. So I feel like you don't really need to necessarily need to look at that too much. Um, but on an anchor, we're gonna be trying him out with 96 acceleration, 98 for sprint speed. Shooting is going to be good in the shot power department because he has the power header trait. You guys are the ones that taught me with the shot power thing when it comes to the heading. So. Uh, definitely very nice to have for sure. His passing is phenomenal too for someone who has the four-star weak foot as well. Definitely very good stuff there. Uh, dribbling is in a fantastic area for a center back. The high, high work rates, couldn't care less about, to be honest with you. I used in Kung, uh, in Kung Ku, lol, uh, Kunde's card. And uh, you guys know how much I like that card. Uh, but yeah, this card will definitely be very interesting to try out on an anchor or a shadow to see how he performs in game. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and unlock the SBC and I'll show you guys how we line them up in game. Okay, guys. So for the review, uh, we're going to give him the anchor. The anchor is going to make sense for us to give him because I'm going to see if I care to give him the extra pace. I'm going to be honest with you guys. If it was me personally, um, it would always be a shadow every single time. Uh, the through balls on the lob pass in this game, I tell you guys all the time, is absolutely insane. Um, sometimes I give him an anchor just because like, there's moments where it's really nice to work with the extra physical. But yeah, for the most part, it's usually it's usually the case to give him a shadow. Do I have a goal here from the Bundesliga? I probably do not. Berkey? Berkey will do, man. Berkey will do. That, that way we can just do this. Not that it matters because it's a defender review, but even still. Okay, we'll try him in that left center back position. The rest of the team doesn't really matter, so. And it's funny because it's actually formatted nicely for a 4-1-2-2. Two two. But yeah, we'll go try him out. I know for a fact people get confused when I do defender reviews because I just give them the ball. I'm just like, all right, switch formation. Here you go, maybe score. What? Oh, no, now that that happened, wh which one is he here? Is it this guy? It probably is. I'm gonna do it like this, like a lofted one, and then I'm gonna hit him with the transition, and then boom, oh. That's a foul, eh, interesting. I mean, hey, his track back was pretty quick there, so I don't mind that too much. Switch the play here, noise. This guy's doing all the extra stuff, like Nkunku's not a monster. Like, please, bro, just attack me. I saw I'll trigger, there we go. So, hey, just attack me, bro, just attack me, please. Goes for an animation there. Uh, dude, I know it's like small margins, but uh, I'm probably still going to give him a shadow. <laughs> oh, AI actually got to that. Oh, Donnarumma almost puts it into his own net. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the initial movement there was my fault, so I don't really blame him for that. I'll take the last second reach. Hmm. 
unlucky. That one went right through him. Oh, hard to blame defenders when it does that, but definitely shouldn't be rewarded with a pass like that with him in front of him. Ooh, I'll take that jump. Nice, just have to hold L trigger. I'm gonna pass. Oh, it switched me. When you pass the ball, you're not really jumping as high, right? I just need him to wake up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? No! Oh, we're good. Nice interception. Good. Good that I was able to switch quickly enough there. Guys, uh, just give him a shadow. Honestly, like he he already he already has the physical. Like it just doesn't make sense for me to boost his physical more when the pace is the biggest part of this game. Nice. All trigger, good. He actually does a tackle himself. Uh, positioning is perfectly fine there the entire time. Did not mind that at all. Oh, we got pen. Cool. I'm going to switch to... Mr. 75 penalties. We'll go left side. There we go. That's the pass I want you to make. That one, yeah. All right, I'll trigger. No animation to jump there. Which is totally fine. Just wanted to see if he would do it. Yeah. Backs back quickly enough into position to block out that pass. Yeah, we're just going to do this real quick because this game revolves around it. So we'll just do that real quick. There we go. Full beans. Next up, we have full icon team. Uh, pretty cool. Round two? Oh, that's way too low. No chance. Oh, much better. Oh my goodness. I, I can't even explain it to you. <laughs> oh, he tries to stick in the back of his foot right there. You see that? Okay, okay. I've seen you. I've seen you. Oh, you know I'm going to go for the flick here, boys. You know I'm going to go for the flick. Come on. They're screaming at me to do the flick there. Nice, we'll take that. Uses his body there. It's so funny, just like I don't know, dude. Like you're running with these guys, and you're just like, yeah, I just, I just need the pace, bro. Nice, that was all him, eh? AI. Oh, Sula. I can't blame him for that. It's just FIFA stuff. But we score from the midway point. Never mind. Oh, push him out of position. Defense for me, huh? Look at that. This is a, a good combination play, by the way. It's like the Sula Vardiol card. Um, it's really nice. I'm going to like this if I, have to, if I ever have to do any Bundesliga teams in the future. Oh, yeah, Mbappe. Get out of here, Mbappe, please. Please, Mbappe. He's he's so meta, it's boring. Like, watch that Player of the Month review. Watch that. Don't watch that, guys. Don't watch that. Ooh, he magnetized there. Oh! Kickoff. Kickoff vibes, but we still get it that length. I actually kind of like the, the high, high work rates on him. Like, you, you notice on, like, different occasions where he's a little bit more aggressive to push forward, which is kind of helpful for those aggressive interceptions. And he can do it because he's a tall guy. He's got that physical on him, you know? Like that real quick. There we go. Remember, guys, when it comes to manual running, you might as well just switch off of them. They run faster, so. Ooh, I like how he magnetized that, too. That was nice. 
almost gets that animation there. Danny Da Costa. <laughs> We're good. That's what I want to do. I want to overcommit him to see how fast he tracks back. He actually did well. Look at Lucas Vasquez. This guy's a beast, bro. That's the one. I'll trigger. Nice. Nice, good slide challenge. I don't know if that was him that actually blocked that. Oh, good track back again. AI is the one that gets that, nice. We don't get the free kick tactic, but we get the track back though. Get it! Pass! You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Give me that extra acceleration sprint speed all day, baby. In this game? Oh yeah. You better believe, my friend. <laughs> I tried to do the flick, I couldn't do it though. I tried so hard. Get the tackle! Yeah. I really want him to turn there. There you go. Good. I'll trigger defending. Beautiful. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the SPC. Forgive me if I don't say his name right. Vard the old card. Uh, WSPC. Absolute WSPC. Very, very good card. I really enjoy using him. Uh, guys, there's a really huge variable to work with when it comes to the Vardio card, and it's the fact that he's left-footed with a four-star weak foot. Okay? That's really important. Left-footed four-star weak foot on a shadow chemistry style for a card that already has the physical stats on it. He has fantastic passing abilities with good composure. Dribbling works really well with the height and the body type. Like, it's a very solid card. Even his high, high work rates genuinely did not bother me at all. But you guys see what I'm saying about the shadow chemistry style, right? In those certain situations, the extra plus two, plus three, whatever it is, it makes a difference in those areas where, you know, people want to utilize that through ball, that law pass as much as possible. Uh, but the other big reason why this SBC is such a W uh, is mainly because of the links, actually, right? So if we take a look at the strong links, the biggest one that people are going to be working with is obviously going to be the Nkunku card, right? Nkunku giving you that green link is genuinely all you really need to work with. Uh, you can get this card too. I always forget his name, Gulaxi, Gulaxi, Gulaxi. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be him. Um, I don't think there's really anybody else. I think he's the main one with the Klosterman card if you still use him, but it's mainly going to be in Kunku. Like, remember, in our situation, we use the Sula card with Nkunku playing in that midfield setup, and it's perfect for what I need in the team. Like, I need that good Red Bull Leipzig player to play in that position. So, guys, WSBC 151K, honestly, is a really low price as an SBC for what this card offers in game. I really, really enjoyed using him. This card as the left center back with Sula as the right center back works perfectly. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.